Hello, my name is Kyla Jeter. In short, I'm a football coach's wife, a mom to one soon to be two spunky little boys, and an ed tech enthusiast. I've been teaching for 13 years in Spartanburg School District 3, and for the last three years, I've been a teaching and learning specialist for instructional technology. I've often heard people joke that Google is a gateway tool, but it's absolutely true. Back in 2015, when I was a classroom teacher, my second grade classroom went two to one with Chromebooks, and ever since then, I've been hooked. I just knew that I had to help spread the gospel of Google to everyone. I want to be a Google certified trainer because I've discovered that my true passion is helping others. Like most teachers, I live for the aha moments when students learn something new, but I also have the added bonus of witnessing the aha moments my teachers have when I show them how they can leverage the power of technology to transform their teaching, and there's no greater feeling in the world. Ultimately, I want to help teachers both locally and across the globe invest in our future and prepare our students for our tomorrow. I absolutely love thinking outside the box to find new and innovative ways to use G Suite in the classroom. And one of my favorite G Suite tools is Google Slides. Today, I will be showing you how to use Google Slides to easily update your class newsletter on your Google Sites class webpage in order to strengthen homeschool communication with parents. First, you will need to navigate to slides.google.com to create a class newsletter template. To resize your page, click File and Page Setup, then select Custom and change the dimensions to 8.5 by 11 inches. Once you've resized your page, you'll need to use shapes, images, text boxes, and word art to create your template and type in your current week's news and announcements, like I've done here. Now you're ready to embed your newsletter on your class webpage. First, you will need to change your share options so that anyone with the link can view. To do this, click Share and get shareable link to turn the link sharing on. Then, you will need to click inside the dialog box and make sure that the anyone with the link can view option is selected. Next, you will need to navigate to your Google Sites webpage and double click on the area where you'd like your newsletter to appear. Once your insert options appear, select from drive and locate and select your newsletter file in the dialog box that appears to the right. And it's that easy. Your finished newsletter will appear on your Google Sites webpage and you can resize it as needed. Now, when you go back in and update your newsletter in Google Slides for the upcoming week, it'll automatically update on your class webpage like magic. There's no extra clicks. Once you've embedded it for the first time, you don't have to go back into Google Sites and do it ever again.